Kia ora and welcome to Living Life as Easy As with Happiness. Oh, hi as easy as is. It's so good to have you on board today. I'm sitting out here in my lovely backyard with my indoor outdoor flow. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. But I'm just going to chat with you this week because the month of August, I have to say, has been quite a challenging month for me this month, that month. Um, it, do, it certainly threw me some challenges and some curveballs, which, you know, is part of life. But what I'm surprised at was how well I've managed it and how well I've actually handled the situations that have been thrown in my way and um, a lot of things snowballing on top of each other and four years ago I just would have you know withdrawn into myself and probably taken a good couple of months to try and pull myself out of a frump as a result of the month that I've just gone through but it's just um, amazing that um, I think this as easy as life and I'm trying to con trying to figure out what's contributed to me kind of not cruising through, but um, you know, coming through a turbulent month relatively unscathed. And so I'm going to share with you what I feel has been a huge contributing factor. Um, these are things that I've been doing for quite some time now, but I wasn't doing any of these things, say, four years ago. And I'd be very reluctant to give them up now because I really believe that they're a huge contributing factor to living in as easy as um, relatively happiness life. And so um, I'll just share with you sort of how I start my day. We'll start from that, which is um, when I go to bed at night, I take up a banana, a huge big glass of uh, gorgeous water here, and um, I stick in some of my Himalayan salt, which I used to take on a regular basis um, as a as a rock form, where I used to pop it on my tongue, like the rock form there, um, and let it dissolve in my mouth. But I don't need to do that anymore. I used to do that for my headaches. Um, and, you know, even after this month of um, challenges, I didn't get any headaches. So, look, I'm really... Um, excited about that and I do contribute the fact that I have Himalayan salt in my diet every single day. It's what I wake up to every morning. So I just put you know a few rocks in there and my big glass of water and that's beside my bed so when I wake up in the morning they're all dissolved and what I do is I eat my banana and I actually, if you read up about banana diet, I've contributed this to just about making all my blimmin' um, back bits that used to hang out over my bra disappear, those gorgeous love handles back there. Um, yeah, I only started that four months ago and I'm finding amazing results from it. So yeah, I'm keeping this one going. So wake up in the morning, I eat, I'm still in bed, I eat my banana and then I will drink this huge big glass of water with its Himalayan rock salt there in the bottom. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I um, wake up in the night and my water's there as well if I need a glass. But yeah, so I'll drink most of that glass before um, I'm walking out the door for work in the morning. So the banana and that. And then as I am leaving the house, you know, I keep talking about it, these turmeric shots, I just... You know, I've been doing them for well over a year now, probably nearly two years, and I think this would be the most number one thing that I would credit to my energy levels, my clarity on things, my uh, level of health. Um, I just absolutely love these, and um, I got through the whole of winter with not a single cold, thank you very much, people with dropping like flies all around me but no nah, I still stood strong um, with no colds or flus the whole winter and I just absolutely love this stuff I can't stop talking about it enough because I just feel that it's completely the single-handedly almost the one thing that has changed my life completely uh, it just what it gives me you know the nutrients that's in there um, what you get out of the turmeric, the ginger, the Himalayan salt, lemon juice and coconut water. That's all that's in here. It's just packed with so much goodness and I just absolutely love it. 
Um, so my turmeric shots, look if you want that recipe, I will pop the link to how I made that um, down in the description of this video. And so that's how I start my day, my banana, a massive glass of water, I do it every single day without fail, and my turmeric shots. And here's some other things that I have um, started not doing actually, and that is I have stopped wearing my sunglasses. I used to live in these things. I mean, they were just a part of my body. And I've been reading up on the benefits of uh, vitamin D and um, how it can be quite detrimental to your health to be having sunglasses on all the time. So now they pretty much just uh, keep my hair in place in the wind and the top of my head rather than covering my eyes. Um, I do so I'll wear them sometimes in the summer, but I just, you've been reading up the importance of vitamin D. So I have reduced wearing my sunglasses, maybe in driving so I can actually see to drive safely. But yeah, a lot of the time now I'll be without my sunglasses and um, I try to spend at least 10 minutes a day wherever there's sun out to try and get some vitamin D. So if it's in the morning, having my cup of tea out here, look at this gorgeous patio I have to sit and have my cup of tea and get my vitamin D. Get my arms out in it, get my legs out in it and my face and my eyes and pupils. And um, I've been finding real benefits in um, increasing my vitamin D levels. You know, everybody just went a bit crazy about um, staying out of the sun because of the cancer and the melanoma. But there's actually research out there to say that it's really important to get your um, natural dose of vitamin D from that sun sunshine. So... And also it's that feel good of, you know, about looking after myself, about doing things that make me feel good. And what really makes me feel good is rubbing my body down with pumice. Like I absolutely love this. It gives me gorgeous glowing skin. I feel it um, working and it just feels so good. And then of course I always follow up with my um, cheap as $4 moisturizer. Do that twice a day. And that just makes me feel good. And so these are the things that I am contributing to, um, you know, just completely lowering my stress levels like you wouldn't believe, increasing my happiness, increasing my energy levels, uh, just increasing your zest for life. And so um, I've seen a huge change in myself in the last four years, and these are some of the things that I contribute the most. I just wanted to share those with you today. I know I've shared them with you before, but I think it's important to just keep reiterating and just to keep mentioning these things. Uh, Wombles on there if you can't see them in the middle of the lazy season. Um, because they've just been so beneficial to me and this is something that all of this stuff is as easy as it is so as easy as it's ridiculous um you know water and himalayan salt that, that is not hard and it's also not expensive like this is probably about four or five dollars for this packet lasts you a year i mean you know water well it comes from the tap four dollar moisturizer it cost me about six dollars to make up one of these which would last me two weeks one single person but uh, my children have it as well so um so look not expensive and it's not hard to do you can start right now if you want that healthy vigor for life then this is where you need to head to ditch your sunglasses a little more get some vitamin d Get out there, make it happen. Much aroha to each and every one of you. Until next week, actually you might want to subscribe. Next week I hope to bring you a video of the most easiest birth cake, birthday cake you could ever make uh, with huge impact. It's such a neat, neat birthday cake. I love making this cake. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you for next week's video. So if you want to see that, get a subscribe or if you know somebody that could benefit from these um, little tips and tricks to living it as easy as life here, uh, then share it on to them. And if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and um, I'll see you next week. Much aroha to each and every one of you. Take care. Bye.